Welcome back, insufferable gaming fans. Your old and long absent pal Ross are here. It's been a long time since I've updated anything due to a long and painful string of physical injuries and family emergencies. But today we're going to try to make some progress. Now, I'd like to point out that last time I actually played, I, I did make an attempt to do some recording, and I came in here and I bought that blue rupee thing. Which, well, I guess you can buy it multiple times. I'm hoping it's a large wallet extension. But, I won't know for sure until I actually get enough rupees to populate it. So, we're already off to a crackerjack start by taking a bunch of crap from Octorox. I spent a lot of time looking around for the passage to level 4, and so far, I've had no luck. None at all. Not a bit. But, hopefully, I'll be able to make some progress. I have been informed that it's somewhere near level 3. Which makes sense. But here's what I'm wondering. I'm wondering... Will I need to actually find the entrance to level 4, or will I need to find the sub-dungeon first? Because it has seemed like the sub-dungeon has been pretty much necessary to finish the regular dungeons. Maybe I'm done with the sub-dungeons, maybe not. Maybe I'm going to continue to get screwed over by levers, because they are some of the most difficultly realized enemies in this version of the game. They just pop up right in front of me, and I have no time to fight them. Also, for some reason my boomerang wasn't shooting out back then. That's very odd, but it doesn't matter. I am going out of my way to make sure that I kill as many enemies on the screen as possible without taking them all out, so that when I come back through, I will not have to deal with as many of them. Kick ass, yes? Yes. And I'm pretty sure I checked over here before. In fact, I'm certain of it. That's not the right way. Let's move on, shall we? Keeps a looking. Now, I suppose it has been a while since I've checked all of the various and assort, a sundry, assorted sundry, assort tundry, assort tundry by Toyota. Let's just duck out of harm's way for a second. Hey. Hey, this could be something. Assuming I don't get myself killed quite to death. Hell yeah. Now we're gonna kick some ass. Uh oh. A loud crashing. Oh, ho ho, ho ho. Very awesome. I like that. I like the don't look back aspect here. That's a nice touch. Now, assuming I don't get myself super ultra mega killed. Aha! Using bushes to my advantage. That's the thinking man, Zelda. These bushes are close enough to an edge where I don't have to worry about 
getting smashed to pieces every time I walk in the room. I love it. I'll just um, grab a couple more hearts here and be on my way. I suppose if I wasn't trapped in this horrid little box, I could use that opportunity to... Ah. To kill some enemies. Oh my god, it's a bullet hell. Or a bullet hail, depending on how you look at it. It's a bullet hell because you're in hell. Dodging all these bullets. It's a bullet hail because a hail is a whole bunch of stuff coming down at you at once. I should probably replenish my hearts again. Oh, hello. Be careful up ahead. Check the left center block for clues. Okay. Oh, you're the man, man. Still only got 255 rupees. And I really, really need... Oh, okay. I guess I'm done having a free ride now. That's... disconcerting. Oh crap, 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 crap. Alright, gonna have to... Oh, levers. Don't want to get hit by those. I'm getting hit by those. I'm getting hit by those all day long. Hello. Could one of you kindly take a drink? I was gonna say drop a fairy, but so much for that. Okay. At least I didn't have to start all the way back. Which would have infuriated me to no end. And... I could be wrong, but I'm guessing either the next dungeon or sub-dungeon just might hold a stepladder for my future. Here's hoping, at least. Take that, levers. I hate you, levers. Levers are not particularly stunnable, are they? Hey, a red rupee I can't reach. Phenomenal. I'll get it later. Whoa. Octorock to rock. Tunak, tunak, tun, octorock. Crud. I'm definitely going to have to go down there and check to see what's in that tree. Well, at least I have managed to... Hey! That flower in the middle is a different color from the others. I wonder if it means something. Ah. Oh's the well. Okay, this shouldn't be too horrifying. It just means I have to be ready to dodge at a moment's notice. Which would be a lot easier if these guys didn't just show up all over the screen. But we're making progress. Oh. Crap, crappity, crap, crap, crap. Okay, one hit wasn't so bad. I can't help but think that this is somehow going to bite me on the ass. I'm just gonna stand here and take this because I had it coming. I did.
Outstanding, Mr. Moblin. I am not going to stab you. I am going to salute your forticulous dickitude. You, sir, are the curmudgeon old bastard that I can only aspire to be in my old age. You, my moblin foe, have given the ultimate case of you kids get off my lawn that I have seen in some time. And for that... I don't know. It's my fault. In the long run, I should have left well enough alone. Okie dokie. Moving along and about. Alright, what the hell is these things? I haven't a clue. Hoping I'll find out later. Hello. That helps a bit. Oh, you know what? I'll bet that's a rupee bag. Dare I... Dare I burn more trees? That's just the kind of deforestating jackass that I am. Oh, nice. Star Tropics. Neat. Where the hell am I, though? I seem to have moved to another part of the map. The Mountain Caves. And now I'm off the grid. Interesting. I hope I didn't break something. I may have broken something. Did I break something? Oh, crap on a crap cracker. I have most definitely broken something. Well, this is the kind of thing where I'm glad I found out now instead of later. Well, Link, it's been a good run. I wonder... The devil? Now I'm on Mount Suffering. Suffering indeed. Oh, wow. I'm almost 99% certain that I'm not supposed to be here. See, this is why we beta test, and I am glad that I had a chance to find this first, because that is a damn interesting glitch. If this ever goes up for speedrunning, that would have been one of the things that got exploited. I would love to just keep exploring this forever, but... I was very specifically told not to sequence break. It's one of the rules and stipulations. Which means that I need to get myself killed in such a manner that I get dropped back off somewhere that I'm actually supposed to be. How do I do that? Maybe I'll just wander about until I find the place. Here's the other side of the river. 
this could be it. Is that where I went in before? Or was that over on the next screen? Yeah, this is where I went in. And it dropped me off here. So, all I've really got to do is get myself, uh, or just stop the game, which I can do from here. End game. Yes. If I hit retry, just in case, to make sure that I didn't actually get stuck. Okay, now I have to actually make sure that I'm not unable to continue at all, because that would be a shame. There was that rock slide to contend with. Just gonna check real quick. Shouldn't take me long to get there. It's an interesting glitch, to say the least. See now, if I hadn't been slacking off and whining about my busted elbow, I could have found this out ages ago. It's the sort of thing that becomes important. Okie dokies. At least I'm making pretty good time. Yes, and diddly do. Ah. Excellent. Okay. That is perfect. So, I can safely quit without having to worry about getting stuck, and I will pick back up next time. So, until then, this is your old pal Rosser. Take a drink.